Hi, I'm Clint Sherwood. I'm with the IBM Enterprise Initiatives team, and I'm going to demonstrate how to connect to your instance through an SSH client. For more information about getting an instance up and running on the cloud, and for more details about each image, please visit the support page and view the Getting Started video. If you don't have an SSH client, there are many downloads available, which you can find by doing a simple web search. For this demonstration, we'll be using PuTTY. Another good option is SIGWIN. After downloading and installing PuTTY, we're ready to go to development and test. From the account page, we've downloaded our key pair to our local system and are now ready to access the instance. If you've already created an instance but not downloaded your key, there will be a download option within the account page. You're only allowed to download your key once. So after that initial download, the only option is to generate a completely new key. If you have any questions about generating or downloading key pairs, or would like to edit or create a custom key pair, please go to the FAQs on the support page. To use PuTTY, you'll need to first convert our saved private key to the PuTTY format. Start the puttygen.exe file you receive from the PuTTY download and click Load. Choose the key file you saved from the cloud. Click OK. Now click the Save Private Key and name your file with the .ppk extension. Within the Cloud Control Panel, select the instance you're going to access, find its IP address, and copy it. We can now start PuTTY and enter that IP address into the hostname field. Now go to the connection screen and then to data. Enter IDC user in the auto login username field. Next we'll go to the connection screen, down to SSH and then into auth. Let's check the allow attempted changes of username in SSH2 checkbox and then browse for your converted key ending in .ppk. Now click open and as you can see we are up and running with our instance. For further information about SSH clients and working with instances you can visit the support page. To learn more about IBM and its cloud initiatives please visit the about page at ibm.com slash cloud. Thank you.